GDPR and privacy policy acts are getting stronger day by day. And that's why it's important for you to know which are all the places you're collecting the data from the users, where are you sending their IP addresses or their, their information, so you can properly create your cookie policy, privacy policy, etc., etc. But the thing we like to do is that we like to avoid as many of those scripts as possible when needed. And one of the mistakes we've done previously, and that is including Google fonts via their API or via the native Webflow integrations and thus uh, loading the Google Phone Script API, which can cause you a lot of problems. First of all, why you shouldn't load Google Fonts to Webflow in the usual way? You're gonna have a slower website because you're gonna be loading their script, you're gonna be loading all of the font var variations instead of just the variations you're gonna be using for that specific project. So like that's gonna be slowing down your website. But on the other hand, in order for Google to go ahead and fetch their fonts, they need to communicate to their server, they need to send user data to their server and back and forth, etc., etc. And looking at the GDPR laws and like other privacy policy laws, that is not compliant. And that's why like there are companies that can get fined up to 250K euros and like maybe even more for sending the data without the user approval. And like there is even built with which you can go to like the, the website and see just actually a list of all of the websites which are using Google Fonts API. It's not even that hard, let's say if a le legislator wanted to go ahead and double check, let's find all of the websites that are using some unsupported uh, GDPR policies, like it's pretty easy for them to go ahead and see, okay, they're using Google fonts. Let's go ahead and list. There's a list of million plus websites that are using Google fonts and thus resulting maybe some fines in the future. So that's why in this video, we're going to be showcasing you how to find if your Webflow project has Google fonts and then how to actually remove them afterwards. The first thing is like, you should never go ahead and basically select the fonts from here. Like you're going to have default fonts that are preloaded in Webflow. And by selecting any of these fonts, Webflow and like Google fonts API, are going to load all of the font weights and they're going to be loading all of the fonts into your project, which is the thing you don't want to. And Webflow has done a great thing of actually changing, okay, these are the default fonts, these are the site fonts, so you can find the fonts easier and that you can make sure that you don't add them by accident. Then the next thing is actually going ahead to your fonts settings on your Webflow project and seeing what are the list of fonts you've uploaded and making sure that you never upload fonts from here. So like here we can see, okay, we have added Google fonts. So we want to make sure that, that we never add Google fonts from here, because if we do so, we're going to be adding the Google script to our website. We're going to be sending the data we don't want to send and thus causing our, our clients some problems, even though we didn't mean anything bad. Then the next thing is like, okay, maybe I've, I didn't do this or I'm not sure if I've done this. Does my Webflow project actually have Google fonts? You can do that by going to inspect. First thing is you're going to see here. The moment when you see WF slash a font name, you're going to know, okay, we're loading a Google script and that's how we know, okay, the, this project has Google fonts. And then also, also by going to sources, you can go ahead and see that you have IX, that Google, uh, Google API, you have fonts gstatic, you have fonts that Google, uh, Google API. So you have all of those things as key metrics for you to know, to actually figure out, okay, I'm using Google fonts. I should remove this. And there are many different companies using that and many mistakes and I'm seeing in people actually using these fonts. So like, it's a pretty simple check for you to actually figure out, did anybody make this mistake and kind of how you can remove that. So when you do figure out, okay, my Webflow project has Google fonts, how the heck do I go ahead and remove those? It should be pretty straightforward. First thing is you go to your styles panel, you go to styles, and in the style manager, you can actually search for properties. So in our case, let's go ahead and figure out how, what's our font name. It's Sato and uh, permanent marker. So we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna write Sato. And then you can see all of the classes actually using that font as a default font. So we can go ahead class by class and remove that or figure out maybe it's added to the body or stuff like that and just remove it class by class. And even when you do so, we've actually found out, okay, we've removed everything on desktop. Why the heck do we still have Google fonts available? Sometimes you might go ahead and by accident, select some of the breakpoints uh, and select a Google font there and that's how the Google font is gonna be loaded. So the best thing for you is, okay, go ahead and make sure that you remove any of the breakpoints. I mean, ch double check all of the breakpoints and make sure that you don't have any of those fonts added here. The next thing is gonna be for you to go ahead and actually remove the fonts from here. So like delete and delete. If you're uploading Google fonts from like the Google, Google library, 
you can go ahead and upload the fonts as TTF or OTF files because at the moment I haven't found a way to actually get WOF or and WOF2 files from Google itself. So that's gonna be the easiest way for you to still use those fonts, but add them to your project so you're hosting them and you're not sending data back and forth. And then finally, how to check does your Webflow project have font, Google fonts or not, like when you've done everything correctly, you can see here that if you don't see uh, Google fonts here or you go to uh, sources and then you just make sure, okay, uh, is Google fonts anywhere? We don't have Google fonts anywhere. Okay, we're not gonna be using that. And that's how you can check, okay, I'm safe. I can proceed with my development and I'm gonna make that a little bit closer to being more privacy policy compliant. I mean, because Webflow is at the time of recording this video, hosted like everywhere, but in the US also, it's pretty hard to be fully GDPR compliant, but the more steps you take to actually become more compliant, the better for your clients. If you're from Europe or maybe you're building a website that needs to be more compliant, like across US, et cetera, et cetera.